Hello Scorpio, welcome to your special Halloween edition. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Scorpio, let's get started with your reading. You've got the spider. Now the spider, of course, when we think about that, we think about the spider's webs, especially around Halloween and how we like to decorate with those kind of sticky webs. And the way that I'm seeing that is connection, interconnectivity doesn't necessarily have to mean entrapment but there is a fine line between a, a community or a network of people that support us and those that control us. This card looks at discerning between those two things. Now around you we have the Greek goddess here, Skyla, archetypal drama queen. She haunted the rocks of a narrow waterway and ships that sailed too close to her rocks lost men to her grasp and appetite. Her voice is likened to the yelping of dogs. She is the nature of very treacherous waters, stormy, violent seas, rocky shores made flesh. So here it is about creating drama, conflict, gossip. What goes around comes around. Here's a feeling of being, wanting attention, but attention being attracted in a, in a very negative fashion. Could be you, Scorpio, but I feel it's more the other person. The overall energy from the dark mirror is one of downcast pride. So a loss of pride, not a great feeling. Bending, I get an energy here of bending to adapt. But bending to adapt or for acceptance becomes an excuse for the habit of just bending bending to another's will rather than having that a strong boundary strong foundations a strong sense of worth here it's coming from a place of uh, low self-esteem it may again be this other person here scorpio but there's sadness around this grief and also a feeling around this of sacrifice as well vanity there's an element of vanity and I feel a sacrifice being made which has led to somehow a feeling of a, a loss of worth in some way. So let, let's see where this goes here, Scorpio. I'm going to be using as the, for your energy, the Thoth Tarot for Halloween. The other person I'm going to be using the Halloween deck, so, uh, sorry, the Vampire deck for Halloween. So let's get started. We'll start with you. At the bottom of the deck we've got for you the Ace of Swords. I've already meditated on your energy, so let's cut these cards. Clarity. Clarity being achieved. Being able to act authentically. Being honest with yourself, with others. We'll take a look and see what your past energy is. Where you currently stand, Scorpio. Let's take a look where you hope to stand with this in the future how you are viewing the other person, your doubts and fears. We'll have a look at your challenge and one card for the outcome. Now let's take a look at the other person. At the bottom of their deck we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So they may be very focused on starting something from a more solid foundation. We have here their past energy, where they currently stand with this where they hope to stand with it in the future, how they're viewing you, Scorpio, their doubts and fears, what is their challenge, and the outcome. Let's take a quick look in the past. Okay, for you we've got the Ace of Cups. The other person we have the, uh, the Page of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. So let's start with you first, and of course either side can resonate, so whatever side resonates the most, that's your message, Scorpio. A wonderful opportunity, or so it seemed, for emotional fulfillment. With this one there is an element of being open, open, open-hearted. I do feel that it's an opportunity to give love and also to receive love. The other individual here, I don't think that they, 
Mm, I get more of a focus for them on more material things rather than something that is filled with emotion. It's more about practicalities. But also I get uh, an energy around them of um, <clears throat> perhaps not, not being willing to put in the work to achieve abundance, material abundance. Let's see where you currently stand. We've got for you the Fool card. Okay, so yes, there's an energy around you, Scorpio, of a new start, starting over, throwing caution to the wind there, and, and being taking a risk. It's very uh, wild kind of energy that I'm picking up around you. Innocent energy, belief, trusting that something is going to work out for you with this Ace of Cups, this opportunity. The other person where they currently stand, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so both cards here, both speak about practicalities, more of the um, earthly things, things that matter in, in our lives, our day-to-day -day lives. They're both in the reverse, which tells me that there's not a lot of action going on with this other person. Uh, I do get a fair bit of laziness. Mm. So be careful around this, Scorpio, because is this person... I don't want to say they're mooching, but maybe they are. Let, let, let's see. Okay. We have the, uh, the Nine of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse as what you are hoping to get from this in the future. So here it's about attainment. You want something more than money. You want something more than material success. You're looking more for an emotionally, uh, emotional fulfillment, something that is going to be an opportunity for you to feel loved, to, to love another, and uh, and be very, I, I do feel that that is something that is, feels like success to you in the future. Not really about all about this um, material kind of thing that I'm picking up from this other person. Okay, we've got the three of wands is what they are hoping for in the future. So for them, they seem to be willing to wait it out waiting for their ships to come in. I think that they're waiting for you, Scorpio. I get this element around them of looking at you, thinking that uh, you have something that they want, and uh, and then being patient, being... Yeah, I, I get them as they're waiting, waiting. But it's waiting after... There's a reason. There's a reason. That they're waiting for you. You may have shown them some interest with this Ace of Cups, but it's something that they didn't make any moves towards, but now they're thinking they might. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you're viewing them. Okay, we've got this, the uh, Nine of Wands. With this one here, uh, Scorpio, uh, you do see this uh, as someone who has been through quite a, a lot in their life, uh, difficulties, struggling. So you see them as struggling and giving up. You know, there's an element around here of they, they have in the past been someone who has been quite apt to, to let things pass them by. It's like failing at the final hurdle. That's what I feel around them. They're looking for success. They work towards it, but then it seems like they something happens. They either give up or they, uh, they just stop putting in the effort. How are they viewing you? We've got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay. They do see you as, as this opportunity has is, is failed. What started here with the Ace of Cups from you, you may have been offering this person something, willing to take a risk on them, 
I get this as the other person feeling like this hasn't worked out. Something has been missing. It may be this element around, because I do get a feeling around this other person of wanting to attain something material. You know, they're, they're looking for uh, success in their life, fulfillment, having what they need. But I don't think that you're looking to provide that for this person, but that may be why they are uh, considering this uh, failed in some way. Let's see what your doubts and fears are. We've got the moon card. So there's a lot of uh, confusion here, a lot of doubts in your mind. I'm looking at the uh, this spider card. And downcast pride and I'm thinking to myself that there's a lot of things within you that you don't want to see. I get this other situation here, what you're doing currently with this Fool card is distracting yourself because you don't want to do the the deep soul searching, you don't want to go through that that period where you you need to look at what isn't working in your life and why, you know, why things haven't worked for you in the past, your motivations, past mistakes. Rather than look too deep or look within yourself, I get you as distracting, distracting yourself with, uh, with this full energy <clears throat> and this new opportunity. Okay, doubts and fears for the other person. They've got the five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, again, I get this feeling around them of not having, not having the will, not having the fire in the belly. This is someone who wants something, they want success, but they don't have the necessary staying power in order to accomplish that. For you, as your challenge, you have the Five of Wands. Again, I do feel this energy around this of, of you not not wanting to have any kind of conflict with this person. The trouble that I see here, Scorpio, <coughs> is that they become disappointed. I get disappointed in, in how things are working with you and now things seem to be, I get that they're a breakup is, is pretty imminent and now your challenge is to be able to do this without causing this person's wrath because I do feel that the energy around them is one in which if they don't get what they want they can become in some way I get it as a anger and I, I feel that this anger, anger is not something that can be controlled, meaning it, it, they do it in front of people, other people. You know, they, they, they create drama uh, for people to, uh, to feel sorry for them or to feel that, well, I, I get them as needing to show that, show their disappointment with you in a external way amongst other people you know gossip talking about you negatively yeah we have the uh, the king of swords here in the reverse as their challenge so again i get this feeling around this person of when it comes to their words they can be very uh, cold very cruel in their words uh, they are very, uh, very much a, very much a feeling here of likely to twist things to be to fit their situation. So what they may be saying, gossiping about you, may not be completely the truth. It has elements of truth, but it's not the not hundred percent the truth. It's it's like a, a flair for the dramatic. You know, they've embellished. 
embellishing something to make them appear victimized in some way yes possibly the outcome for you six of wands in the reverse yeah i get this as defeat feeling unsuccessful so something that was looked on as, as a, an opportunity being handed to you i feel that or you handing it to someone taking a risk I do feel that it turned out to be a, a situation where the other person was expecting more of material gain. You weren't focused on that at all. I get more of a fun energy around you with that fool card. Someone that you probably should have paid a bit more attention to some red flags, a little bit more caution, but you didn't. And I get that now you're in a circumstance where that the other person here has become disappointed i get a weakness around them i feel that they don't have the well they, they feel like they have been depleted i get exhaustion around them <clears throat> and and therefore they don't feel like they have the ability to get back on their feet so where, where they're coming from is a, is a place of uh, feeling a lack feeling a loss and there's a lot of uh, harsh words coming from this person now so what started off as uh, the sharing of emotions has ended in the sharing of harsh words bitter words and what's more i feel that there's gossip here that is not completely 100% the truth. The outcome for this other person is the Hierophant in reverse. Mm. Sense of rebelliousness, uh, somebody causing trouble here, possibly in a traditional environment. They may be causing trouble in a workplace, an institution, perhaps in a uh, something that is like an institution, like marriage. So there is a, a feeling around this of not not being victorious, feeling unsuccessful, being defeated by someone who, well, I get this element around them of, uh, I don't think you can match this person for drama. It's someone that you've made a connection with. There's a real need though to discern, be careful when uh, making these, uh, these connections. You want supportive connections. You don't want people who are going to control. And I feel that this person has that element of control. And if they don't get that control, then they become overly melodramatic. It seems to have all been born out of a place of uh, downcast pride, which to me speaks of uh, not being grounded, feeling a low value, a low self-worth. It could be you, Scorpio, it may be the other person that feels that way, but uh, nevertheless, it's now coming out as anger, bitterness, and, uh, and gossip as well, gossip and slander. Scorpio, we'll see where this goes. It, it, um, not, not great energy, but this person seems to be looking towards the future, looking to, to gain something from you. We'll see where that goes. How they're going about it, though, seems quite toxic. For you, there's a little bit more of an innocent vibe around you. But I have a feeling that you didn't, you didn't understand that this person has some kind of... Um, I don't think you saw this person as, as being someone who had this flair for drama. But you're certainly knowing it now. So we'll see you in part two. I hope that you join me there if this is resonating. The link is below in the descriptions box and that will be on the Vimeo channel. It'll be about another 40, 45 minute reading and I'll be pulling out a lot more clarifying cards going very much in depth and also looking at some oracles to see where this goes in the future as well. If you would like a personal reading, Scorpio, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. And that email is also in the box below. 
I wish you the best with this Scorpio. Please have a happy Halloween. I'll see you in part two or I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.